Okay, what we have here is a whole bunch of habitat sets and track. So this is uh, multiple sets of the Nano Habitat set raceway. So you don't by any way get all of this in a single set. There's about three raceway sets here and some track from some other sets as well. Okay, so what I'm gonna do here is I've got two identical tracks on the left and the right, and I've got a end single hex cell at the very, very top where we'll actually finish. Now I'm actually gonna start this way as well. They're gonna go around the various sides. Even though they're staggered, uh, the length of track is exactly the same on both sides. They're gonna come all the way around here. This is actually the halfway flag. They're gonna loop around, head the same way back, and set off a, a series of two flags as they then enter. And the idea I've got here is to show you uh, comparative speeds of different hex bugs. So I've got here the raceway uh, bugs as well as dock bugs. And I've got a combination of uh, shrouded covers and or feet or not. So we've got here at least four races we're gonna do and I'll start the first ones off. So these are fresh batteries. This is bug one, bug two from a raceway set without legs and without covers. I'm gonna hold them still and let them go exactly the same time. I'm not timing as such, I'm relying on the flags. I'm gonna see which one wins. So on the left hand side of the picture, we've got the red, which is number one. On the right hand side of the picture, we've got blue, which is number two, and off they go. So I've set the flags so that they uh, won't go up uh, on the wrong direction. So they'll only go up when the bugs come through the winning direction. And as you can see already, blue's quite a way ahead at this stage. Let's see whether in the long run the red can catch up. So the blue's going round and is already halfway on the way back. Red's on the way back now. Blue's got a reasonable lead here. Like I said, these are both brand new bugs. Now that's a unexpected disaster for the poor old blue bug. He's managed to bounce himself around and has got to do that again. So red has got a real chance here to win because there's no other precarious tracks that can let the bug do that. And Red's won. Now that isn't probably the race you uh, wanted to see because using these chicanes here has posed the bugger an issue where it's managed to turn itself around. So what I'm going to do is just pop these two bugs aside and we'll have the red winner but I'm going to make a note that actually that was a little bit of a duff race. Reset the flags. We'll put the next combination in. Okay so the next combination is again Raceway nano bugs again, red number one, again, blue number two. This time they've got the racing shrouds on or the covers as well as racing legs. Okay, so the racing legs and the covers that you only get with the raceway habitat set. Same again, I'm going to set them off again. Red is going to go down the left side, blue is going to go down the right side. I'm holding them and I'm going to let them go at the same time again. So on the count of three, three, two, one, they're off. Now I personally find, and uh, do look out for yourself, that the shrouds or the covers on top of the bugs makes them oscillate. And you can hear them rattling down the tracks, even the straight bits of track. They really get a, a real shaky nose going on. And I think it actually slows them down. So the red one's just gone through. I'm going this way back. The blue isn't too far behind. But with all that shaking it's doing, who knows what it's going to do. Okay, they've both got through the um, double Y chicane set, still going the same direction. And it looks like a clear win for red. Okay, let blue finish. And again, what I'm going to do is pop these aside. This time red really is the winner. So I'm happy with that result. And we'll mix them up a bit as we go through some other races. Again, I'm going to reset the flags. This time we're going to have stock nano bugs. Again, brand new batteries. They're actually quite new bugs as well. They, didn't get, they haven't got used a great deal. And this time they've got no legs, no shrouds. They didn't come from the raceway set. They come from various different sets. And again, I'm going to hold them, line them up. I've got them exactly the same position I have now. And I'm gonna let go in three, two, one. That's the best bug win. This one looks a lot more even. 
it's quieter, there's a lot less oscillation, although the white one just kicked up a bit there. And as you can see that flipping has really cost it a little bit of distance already, but it's very much closer this match, as we'll see as they come up to the turning point. Okay, white's ahead on the way home, and followed by the sea blue turquoise. And it's really, white's really charging ahead now. It's just had a really good run now. And it's going to be an easy win. Okay, reassuringly you just saw a win on this side of the track, which is also just bodes well to make sure there's no uh, obvious or over the top um, difference between the tracks. I think they're all pretty good. Okay, so now we've got another two nanos, this time stock again. They've not got the legs on the battery covers, but they have got the shrouds or the covers. Okay, again, brand new, don't get used a great deal, but just not the camera. Check that looks okay. I'm gonna just uh, make sure that goes back again. Apologies about that. And um, what I'm gonna do is to, again, hold them as I start the race. And in three, two, one. So this is stock hex bugs, standard battery covers, not with the legs, but with the shrouds. So considerably less oscillation than the first set of raceway nanobugs that had the legs and the shrouds. So the shrouds or covers themselves don't seem to be the, uh, the main cause of the oscillation. Okay, the, uh, the sea blue bug is definitely ahead. Quite close. This black has a really good run at the end. Oh, and the bends. Not much to catch up. Okay, so we've now had a few different bugs winning, and what I want to do is to put the winners against each other. So what we're going to do is to try to keep it reasonably matched. We're going to put the shroud without the legs with a shroud with the legs. Okay, out of this race, and the winner on stock with a winner on stock, even though it's a raceway bug, I don't expect there to be much difference between these two bugs. So here's another two races we're gonna do. To start with, we'll do the two stocks, and I'm just gonna reset the flags. So we've got the red, I'm gonna put him on the uh, left-hand side again, and white on your right-hand side. Again, I'm holding them, and they're off. White's already a little bit ahead. Now I'd say, quite a bit ahead. Red's got some catching up to do here. Safety for the chicane, first direction. Now there's always a little bit of luck here because if they hit this nose on, it could actually delay them a little bit. So there's a bit of an element that isn't purely on speed, but I wanted to add a bit of a, a bit of a extra pizzazz to this track. But white clearly ahead here. I'm gonna win this one. So out of these two pairings, even though it's quite close at the very, very beginning, red really fell behind. Now whether that's because it was having problems with the bends or not, I'm not sure. Some bugs do travel straighter, cleaner, and then on the straights they get a real kick of speed. Um, but we've got a, a clear winner there, reset the flags. And this race is now a good combination. So we've got a stock nano bug without the legs, but it has got the shroud. And we've got a raceway bug with the racing legs and the shroud. Let's see what happens here then. Okay, I'm gonna keep again red. Your left, Blue's on the right, and thumbs holding these guys back. Okay, on to this 200, let's see what's wrong there. Three, two, one, and we're off. Red off the blocks quite well, but vibrating too much. It's already slowed down, blue's got ahead. It's just a tad, it's a close race, close race. Red is really vibrating. I don't think it does itself any favors doing all that shaking about. And that's a combination of the legs and the shroud doing that. Now the shroud does make them wider. And that can cause problems when you have them in non-race track configurations, i.e. when they're trying to overtake each other because they can't, head on, they cannot pass. I'll show you that 
at the very end of this video. And as it looked, the loo was absolute winner. So shroud on without legs, the shroud on raceway with legs. Okay, we're gonna do another final race, a real race match. So we've got the white stock, no covers, no legs, with a blue stock with shroud. I'm gonna switch the sides this time. Three, two, one. Let's see whether the shroud versus non-shroud makes much difference. At the moment, non-shroud white is ahead. Bit of oscillation slowed it down there. Blue almost caught up. Blue, oh, and white's done it again. A lot of oscillation is slowing it down. Okay, white is slightly ahead as it loops around. That flag, half a flag went up just a fraction of a second earlier. And suddenly, quite a lead. Now, where did that come from? Again, I'll rewatch the video and see that, but I'd imagine you'll see that something didn't shake or something had a really good clear stretch and white the overall winner. So I'm hoping, absolutely not conclusive, nowhere near enough races or tests here to show anything, but I'm hoping you'll see there that there's really no great difference between the hex bugs with or without the raceway hex bugs and with or without the covers and shrouds or legs. If anything, I think the covers and legs uh, make them vibrate a little bit too much and I think the vibration causes uh, problems. One last thing I was going to show you is the two standard hex bugs, but with shrouds. I just want to quickly show you the head-to-head uh, -head issues that you get. So I'm literally going to just on a piece of track, this I have to do, show the fact that they really can't overtake each other at all well. Let me just get them going the head-to-head uh, -head again. That'll loop around quite nicely, so this should do nicer. What you'll see is the width of the uh, shroud hidden by the orange flag. I have to do that in somewhere else place, but as you can see, they're just not overtaking in the normal fashion. They haven't actually bully um, over the top of each other. Let's just do that a little again. Pull straight around the bend. They can no longer overtake where two bugs without shrouds can, as you know, normally negotiate. There we go, that's a perfect example where white and red just rubbed and snuck past each other and they did that with no uh, real issue. So that's another little thing to, to be aware of and uh, I think you'll see there that uh, identical track, lengths, identical resistance of the flag lips, etc., flag, flag flaps, etc. Um, that the actual uh, clear winner on this case out of my uh, six races was actually a stock bug with new battery, no legs and uh, nothing special with a nano raceway bugs in my opinion.